Hi everyone, my name is Rajeshekar. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be exploring common settings mismatch between CAMSYS and Unreal Engine program. We'll be exploring three sections. First section, we will see all the points which needs to be addressed for CAMSYS to successfully communicate to Unreal Engine. And the second section is about fixing the modes. Even after successful connection between CAMSYS and Unreal Engine, the modes need to be in place for it to trigger lights appropriately. And the final section is just about a small tip. So whenever you trigger lights from CAMSYS, the Unreal Engine interface would slow down. So I'll be sharing a small settings tip to fix that issue. That's about it. Let's get started. Right now, as you see, everything is in place. CAMSYS and Unreal is working together perfectly. We will try to create all these mistakes from point one to five so that you'll have better understanding of the issue. Let's stop the simulation from CAMSYS first and then Unreal as well. We will try to change the patch file of all these lights and see whether CAMSYS is able to communicate to this light. Heading down to Outliner, selecting all the lights, BMX, Open Patch Tool, and I'll completely ch change it to a different library, to a different patch. Address incremental, let's cross check that quickly. It is getting patched to a different file. Now, with this, let's try to trigger from CAMSYS and let's see what happens. Unreal set to play and CAMSYS faders on. And now as you see, the simulation is not happening. Why? Because the lights in Unreal Engine is patched to a wrong patch file. So let's quickly fix that. Fader down and let's stop the simulation again. Selecting all the lights. DMX open patch tool and now repatching them to appropriate patch file. So sharp E1 address incremental. Let's check whether that change reflected. Okay, patch 2. Let's do it for the last one as well just to be on the safer side. Yes, so now it is correctly patched with corresponding patch file. Let's play the simulation and let's trigger from chances. So as you see this is working perfectly. So always remember to troubleshoot from this point. First check whether all your lights are patched to its corresponding patch file. The net host option in Chamsys should be normal and loopback IP. So I'll show you where that option comes. Let's stop the simulation. The option is under setup, view settings, network. Under network you see an option called net host option is set to normal and loopback IP. Let's change this one to normal. Okay. And now let's try to trigger. Go to layout. Uh, as you see, I have triggered from chances. The Unreal uh, play mode is active, but still the simulation is not happening because of the setting which we changed. So let's uh, drop the fader. Let's go to setup, view settings, network, and let's change the net host options to normal and loopback IP. Okay, with this change is made, let's try to simulate again, turning on the fader and now as you see, it works perfectly. The second thing to troubleshoot is, look for net host options setting. Let's head down to third one. The external universe in Unreal is not set to zero. And very important, whenever you're changing any setting with an Unreal or placing an actor in the scene, make sure to stop the playback. If you don't stop the playback, if you go and change setting, that will not reflect. So please make sure to always stop it. That external universe setting is available in edit, project settings. Go all the way down to DMX plugin. And under DMX communication setting, you have input and output ports. I'm changing this to one. By default, it's one. And uh, you have one more external universe also here. I'm changing this to one. Both are set to 1 and now let's play, let's trigger from CAMSYS. The lights are in simulating because the external address is set to 1. For CAMSYS to work, it should be set to 0. So let's try to fix it again. Let's drop the fader, stop, edit, project settings, go all the way down and look for DMX plugin. 
under communication this make sure to change this back to extern universe start to zero and the output ports extern universe start should also be zero with this change is made let's play it let's trigger and now it's working perfectly so the third point to look out for is make sure to have the external universe set to zero now in chances the universe itself isn't enabled uh, let me show you what i meant so i'm heading down to dmx library and if you notice in this test project i ha i have only one universe which is universe one let's stop this animation let's stop it in chances as well under setup tap on view dmx io so currently as you see three universes are enabled everything else is disabled let's disable everything so we are disabling universe 1 universe 2 universe 3 so we have disabled all the universe now let's get back to chances and let's trigger the light before that play in unreal and now as you see the simulation is not happening because the universe is not enabled in the first place so let's fix that drop the fader going to set up the dmx io and we'll enable universe 1 alone in the event if you are using universe 2 and 3 make sure to have all enabled okay so now let's get back let's trigger now works perfectly so the point number four to look out for is make sure to have your universe enabled in campuses in my previous video i mentioned uh, the visualizer address in campuses should match with your Unreal Engine IP address. I would like to apologize, that's the wrong information. Changing that has nothing to do with the simulation. And that's what I'm trying to uh, mention here. So this is not required, it's not mandatory. I'll show you right away. Let's drop the fader in setup. Under view settings, network. Here's your visualizer IP address. I'm setting it to a random IP address, 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. Enter. So it's changed and let's trigger it still works doesn't matter even if there is a mismatch between visualizer ip address of camses and unreal it will still work we have explored all the five points now about the sixth point this is the last stage of your troubleshooting process in the event if you have tried all this and if it's still not working try disabling your antivirus program for a few minutes and test your uh, dmx simulation from camses and unreal and make sure to re-enable them back after you're done testing so this is something might or might, might not work all the time. To rule out the issue, you can try this step. Let's move on to the next section. If the modes are not in order in Unreal Engine's DMX library, and uh, if the index number is not matching, the light will not trigger. So let me show you what I meant. Stopping the simulation. Stopping in Unreal as well. Let's get inside DMX library. Inside a DMX library, fixture types, Sharpie, these are the functions for the sharpie light so we have 16 numbers of them one small tip here is how do you get to know about the function the easy way would be to go to chances click on patch click on view channels i'm using clay package sharpie in this case so as you see right from the beginning until the end this function has to match with unreal engine so if you compare color color shutter shutter dimmer dimmer so on gobo so after gobo this prism prism rotation fx movement i have not selected uh, here because there is no option to select an unreal as such possibly in future no, they'll try to come up with, uh, with that setting or you know there'll be a workaround for it so whatever is there i have selected whatever is not there i have uh, left it blank for your understanding you can also double tap here and type the prism name if you want to identify otherwise you can leave it blank as it is it's okay to leave it empty not a problem but this index number and the order should be perfectly maintained so for each and every light which you patch to test it out i'm just making changes for one uh, light alone so i'm going to delete all the null values here all right and uh, let me save the dmx library and now let's get back to chances before that let's play the simulation right away you can notice the light one which is over here it's pointing out it's oriented differently 
when it's compared to the other four lights. If I trigger from chances, that light, the Sharpie one alone is not working. Why? Because the modes aren't matching. Hope you get the idea. Let's drop the fader, stop the simulation. Let's put it back to normal. Getting inside DMX library. Now here's an important thing. Before we even do anything, let's go to fixture patch. Now, you see all the lights are patched, everything is in place. The fixture patch looked good. But now, after making a small change in the fixture type, the fixture patch will go bad. So what I meant to say is, right now the Sharpie one is all, it's not in order. I've deleted and made changes and uh, what I'm doing, I'm going to delete this Sharpie off. I've already duplicated one. So I'm going to rename that to Sharpie one. Okay, now, the moment you go to fixture patch, you'd find everything is in red. Why? Because anything which you delete, it affects every other patch. I'm quite unsure why this happens. There should be a quick workaround to fix this. But as of now, if something happens like this, you will have to patch them from the top. So be very careful, especially when you're making any changes, this could happen and there should be a workaround which I'm not aware of. If I come across this, I'll share it to you people. So deleting it and I'm going to patch them again. So in the same order. Two, three, four, five. So everything is patched, saving it. Close. Now let's test it out. Playing the simulation and triggering the light from chances. Nothing happens. Why? Because we'll have to repatch. Since we repatched inside DMX library, all the lights have lost its link to its corresponding patch file. So we will have to repatch them, stopping the simulation. Select all the lights from Outliner, DMX, open patch tool, huge library name, Sharpie patch, address incremental. Let's quickly check. Okay, let's check the other. Okay, now let's play the simulation. Let's trigger from chances. Okay, now as you see, it's working perfectly. So one more thing which you are getting to know here is, if you make changes to your modes, if you repatch them, you'll have to connect your lights to your patch file again for it to work. Okay, so hope everything is clear now if your lights aren't uh, behaving or if it's orienting wrongly possibly the modes needs to be checked so let's move on to the next section finally when you are uh, triggering from chances there is a slowdown in unreal engine why because we have to change the small settings and that setting is here let's stop the trigger stop the playback the setting is under edit preferences Let's go to performance and inside performance you have an option use less CPU when in background. So this option by default is, has a tick mark. So when it's having a tick mark and when I'm triggering from chances, this is what happens. As you see, it's stuttering like I'm not sure whether you'll be able to notice this in a video. Uh, to me, it's very slow, you know, it's not smooth as it as it was before. So to, to fix this slowdown, you need to change this setting alone. That'll do. Edit, preferences again. Go to performance and remove the tick mark from use less CPU when in background. So when you do that change and when you play the simulation, let's trigger from chances, the playback is smoother and it doesn't stutter anymore like before. So that's about uh, this video guys, we have managed to understand what causes chances to stop communicating with Unreal and also tip on the modes which needs to be in order and finally the slowdown fix. Hope you found this useful, I'll see you all soon in the next Unreal Engine video. As usual there are a lot to explore in uh, DMX and every other areas of uh, Unreal Engine, we'll keep exploring them one by one. Do subscribe to the channel, do share this video to your friends and family who are interested to learn about this DMX techniques.
if you are watching this video for the first time in my channel i'll be putting the video card link right now at the end of this video thank you for tuning in guys this is raj shekar signing out see you bye